first of all, because we are all in the same business, but we are looking at it from different perspectives. Who among yourselves is a client, a contractor, or a supplier? Because there are three species among us, right? So I would like to know, please raise your hands, who is from the client side? Nobody? Okay, good. Who is from the contractor side? Okay, three, four. And who is from the supplier side? So the majority from the supplier side. Because for sure. Uh, so because we don't have any clients, we will not mind about the OPEX, huh? right? Because uh, we have to look at it from uh, the right perspective. We're going to make savings in the design of the plant. So uh, maybe as I was discussing with one of you, I'm not going to put a, a pump with a variable speed drive because I don't care about the pump power consumption. I'm going to keep the pump running full flow, even if I don't need the flow, but if it doesn't bother me to have this uh, maximum flow running, why, you know, why should I uh, bother with uh, buying a VSD that's going to cost me, I don't know, $20,000 <coughs> or something, okay? So I think uh, we, have to, we have to understand where, uh, what are the, uh, where, we are, where, where is our perspective. On the other side, on the supplier side, uh, of course, it's the same situation. You have to find a different design, an alternative to propose cost-saving ideas to the contractor. You know, in my current job, I'm, in, uh, I'm doing tenders for my company. And uh, I always ask suppliers at the tendering stage, please give me a bid that complies with the requirements of the inquiry. But also, give me some alternates. Think out of the box. Tell me how to make savings. I received almost never any, any idea, except the guy who said, I'm going to manufacture in China. Almost never. So we need to think out of the box to propose alternates. We are too much, or at least I speak for myself, I'm too much uh, thinking always, the, you know, the same thing. It's, it's unbelievable the savings you can make when you try to challenge things. Give you an example. You know, in, the, in this industry, the process engineers, they are the start of everything. So they define the, they issue the process specification and then basically a lot of things is frozen. The number of times I've seen on process specifications for equipment, use stamp for pressure vessels, sour service, uh, lethal service, because it was there on the last job and they didn't bother to really check that. And in doubt, they just put sour service. You know, sour service. It's not cheap. If you have something that is sour service, you're going to have a special steel, post-well heat treatment for carbon steel, 100%, um, well, no, not 100% uh, RT, but that's for lethal service. But, you know, so a lot of engineering specifications are done lightly. And if we don't start to challenge this, we are going to be out of business. So we must do that. And this exercise is, OK, this exercise, I've been doing it for the last two, three years. And I want to share with you um, the methods. And I want us to work also on small groups to find, based on the case studies you have, made, you have uh, you have uh, encountered. And for this, thank you very much to all of those of you that have contributed to this exercise. Personally, I use this register. I've been doing that for the last few years. I use this register. Every time I encounter something that is cost sensitive, I want to know what is the options, you know? What is the options? 